So you want to include a fancy decorative border in the background of your Word document. I'm going to show you two methods. The first method you're going to use is where you have an image of a border that you want to include in the background of your Word document. And the second method is where you don't have an image and you need Word to create the fancy decorative border. Okay, let's look at the first method. So I'm starting off with my blank Word document. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the orientation of the page. That's because the border that I'm going to use is for some sort of certificate. So I'm going to go to the Layout tab on my ribbon, then to the Orientation button, and then to Landscape. The next step is to go to the Design tab on your ribbon, and then over on the right here, go to Watermark, and then at the bottom, select Custom Watermark. You then select this option, Picture Watermark, and click on Select Picture. Now I managed to find a decorative border by just doing a simple search on Google. If you do the same thing, you'll find there's lots and lots of websites that are offering free decorative borders. So I'm going to click on From a File, and I'm going to select this border here. Click on Insert. I'm going to untick Wash Out, and then click on Apply. Now I'm going to move this dialog box out of the way a little bit and I need to play around with the scale. I need to increase the size of the border. So I'm going to type in something like 110%. Click on Apply. Maybe take it up a little bit more, 120%. And you can just keep clicking on Apply until you get the right size. So maybe 115% is about right. So once you're happy with the size, just click on Close and there you have your decorative border. If at any point you want to resize the border again, just go back to Watermark, Custom Watermark, and you can continue to play around with the size. I think I'll take it down to 110%. Click on Close, and there we are. Now the next thing you're gonna to need to do is change the margins of your document, because you won't want to be typing over the border itself. So to do that, go to the Layout tab on your ribbon, Go to Margins, and then Custom Margins. And you have to enter a top, left, bottom, and right margin. So I'm going to enter 4 for my top and bottom margins, and 5 for my left and right margins. Click on OK. Now you can see my cursor there. If I enter some random text, you'll see that the text fits nicely within the border. And the border repeats on every page in your document. Okay, so that's the first method. Obviously, you can put any text you like within the border. But now, let's move on to the second method where we're asking Word to generate the custom border for us. So again, I'm starting with a blank Word document. I'm going to keep the orientation as it is for this document. I'm going to go to Design, Page Borders, which is right over here on the right hand side. And then from this menu here, the art menu, I'm going to select a custom border. And you can see there's lots and lots of options here. And hopefully there'll be something in here that meets your requirements. So I'm just gonna select this one here. You can change the color of the border. Just watch the preview over here. So for example, I could make it orange. And I can also change its width. Now for this one, I can't increase it, but I can decrease it. Click on OK, and there we are. You have your custom border. Let's just look at another custom border. So as a reminder, you go to the Design tab on your ribbon, Page Borders. From the Art menu, you choose your border style, whatever you want it to be. You can change the color and you can change the width. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.